Hi there. For questions and answers today, we have a really great question about break-in. Now, if you're an audiophile and have been observing audio, new audio equipment for uh, a period of time, you've probably by now observed that when you plug in a brand new piece of gear, it can take several days, weeks, or even months for that new piece of gear to start sounding its absolute best. One of the things that is fairly widely believed is that if a product is used, it will no longer go through a break-in. So the question that we had uh, posed to us at Virtual Dynamics is I bought a used Virtual Dynamics cable. I know that this cable has been used quite a bit, although I seem to be experiencing some break-in on this audio cable. Why is it that even though this cable is used, I still am experiencing change as this cable settles into the audio system? Well, that's a wonderful question. And it teaches us quite a bit about uh, electricity, and it teaches us quite a bit about um, audio. What we think we're experiencing in this is what we understand to be the theory of electron memory flow. So when electrons start to flow through something, um, they, they can kind of push their way through the, the, the space of the conductor better as they, they, they have made their way the first time. So they're kind of opening a gap, kind of like if you were to, to pour water onto the floor and the water was, would at first start to form a fairly perfectly round puddle. Now it wouldn't be perfectly round, but a drop was fairly perfectly round. As you start to add to that, the puddle would start to build and build. And as you start to increase the amount of water going in and continue to flow, you'd notice that trailing little legs would start to appear out from that little pool that was started. And what it would do is the water would start to pick up the path of least resistance and it would flow in that direction. As you continue to add more water to that, those, those pathways would get wider. And we believe that under the same principles, that's what electrons are really doing and why we experience break-in themselves. It should always go through a break-in period, whether it be a brand new cable or whether it be a used cable. Why? Well, the new audio cable should actually allow more electricity to be able to flow through your audio system. As it does, because it's going to, we hope, the, the idea behind a, a better audio cable is to lower resistance so that more signal flow can come through. That's the whole idea of being able to build a better audio cable. So as we lower the resistance so that more signal can come through and get from point A to point B, that extra signal will have never been in, in that amplifier before. So when we've increased the quality of our interconnect, we increase the total amount of information going to the next component. Now, one of the other things that we've uh, experienced is that with cable cooking, and uh, we, we've used cable cookers here at Virtual Dynamics for a number of years, when I first encountered one, one of the things that, w that really struck me was that I could take a cable that was several years old, put it on a cable cooker, and when I brought it back in, it sounded like a brand new cable. It sounded like, well, a brand new to me cable, something like I'd never heard before. It was cleaner, clearer, more open, faster, and overall more transparent than the cable was before it went on the cable cooker. So why is it that this cable cooker could make a difference to a cable that seemingly had already been broken in? The idea behind the cable cooker is to throw wider frequencies through, greater amounts of voltage and even amperage through the cable, so allowing more electricity overall to flow through the cable. Therefore, we believe what happens is that we open up the ability for electrons to be able to start flowing through that conductor. So any time that we take the sum of your audio system and we change even one small part and we increase the efficiency of it to be able to flow electrical energy, we actually increase the efficiency of the entire audio system to be able to, to, be able to play back better, okay? Because it's going to be able to get information that it never had before. The whole idea of breaking in a cable is one that definitely is not new, but it, it really is in its early stages for us to be able to understand exactly what's going on. What we can be prepared for is, is that as we continue to advance audio, we're going to have more and more understanding about it, and the things that we thought weren't possible before will start to be possible, we'll start to hear break in like we've never had it before. Um, so when you go to buy your used audio cable, let's hope that you hear some break in. Because if you hear break in, if you hear a change in that cable after a period of time, you know that you've made an improvement in your audio system more than likely. I'm Rick Schultz. Thank you.